Okay, right. For what I want to cover now is the sort of more formal part of IT services management in week six. And it's all about stakeholders, who the stakeholders are, and more particularly, what they are. But what I want us to start with, and in, as always with these, I'm going to run through the slides so we can get the basic talking bit out of the way, and then we'll go back unrecorded, because I don't want you to feel constrained as you're having a little sort of discussion uh, that you're being recorded. So the, the, what we're going to do is to go back to last week and think a little bit about the Zachman architecture. So the first little bit of what we're going to do over the next uh, half an hour or so, maybe a bit longer, I want to think a little bit about, go back to last week and think a little bit about the Zachman architecture and how you're going to use the Zachman architecture in terms of thinking about your individual assignment task. Because you'll notice in the second stage is justified design using some of the principles from the Zachman architecture. And then the second part, we'll be looking a little bit about who stakeholders are and what their role is in a company. So, four quest three questions about the topic of why and how will you use the Zachman architecture for your design task and coursework in the coursework, the article, and the three questions that you're going to need to answer in your discussion, going back to what we talked about last week is, or the week before, why is the Zachman Enterprise Architecture valuable? What are the key questions that the Zachman Enterprise Architecture gives you? And how do they relate to actually designing and managing an IT service? So we're doing that as soon as we finish the slides. And then you can use a couple of sources here to help you under, uh, to feed into the Zachman Enterprise Architecture questions. Business value modeling, that's kind of an interesting one. And this one here library service for the future. And this comes around to some of the ideas that under, underpin the development and use of object-oriented uh, systems. Reusability. Here's a library of, thing, of widgets or things that do different processes or different uh, parts of the process. And it then leads on to uh, some of these other questions you can see there. <coughs> then we start looking at the next stage, which so when we've had the little discussion, the group discussion on enterprise architecture, we start moving into the question of who are stakeholders, what are stakeholders, what's their role in an organization, how do we use them, how do we support them. And so here's a couple of sources <coughs> that you can easily find uh, on the through the library systems about stakeholders, stakeholder theory, and you're going to learn a little bit about what they're there for and how you need to take account of their needs, having identified who they are in each particular situation. You then start thinking about, okay, this is a service, this location-based service that you're working on for the assignment. Um, okay, who are we addressing this new LBS-based uh, item towards? And to do that, you need to understand this concept of stakeholders. And you need to link it back as well to Zachman Enterprise Architecture because that helps you answer some of the very high-level questions we've talked about. And then using all four of those papers, kind of looking back at Enterprise Architecture, looking forward at stakeholder analysis, then evaluate the key stakeholder roles in developing the definition of a service. And when you, when I come back from, or well, in fact, probably later on today, 
you will be able to see at least the slides that I'll be using on Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, California time, so middle of the night your time on Tuesday, uh, actually be able to see what I'm talking about, which encapsulates much of this in terms of using the V's of big data to understand the governance issues relating to location services and using location services. And you can actually look back at another conference through my uh, personal web, web pages, uh, to the one I gave in London to the Location Based Services Conference there uh, in June or July, I think it was. Because that actually helps, will give you a bit of a context to think about what are the questions when we are looking at developing location based services with apps or whatever. And it'll give you some really interesting insights, perhaps, to some of the things you have to think about here. So I'll put that one up and then I'll give you the, um, the URL on the uh, module website on Blackboard so you can actually go and actually look at those sort of areas. So as you start doing your research, which will lead into the second half of the session, the workshop is set part, here are some questions about stakeholders. Who are they? What are their roles? What are their different needs? And how do their needs affect the design of that service you're creating? And then bringing the story together, and this is a progressive nature of what we're doing in the, the, these sort of presentations, is to provide you the stages through your uh, assignment, your article that you're writing or the design you're writing. So those are four things, and we'll come back to those in a little bit.